Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to go over some addition strategies. We'll review some that you've learned in third grade and we'll elaborate on them with larger numbers. So let's start with a word problem. I've been saving money for a new computer. In January, Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to review some addition strategies that you learned in third grade and elaborate on them by using larger numbers. Let's start with a word problem. In, I've been saving money for a new computer. In January, I saved $427 and in February, I saved $733. How much money have I saved all together? So what do you think? Are we going to be doing $733? minus 427 or are we going to be doing 733 plus 427? If you said that we're going to be subtracting, sorry, it's addition because we want to find out all of the money all together. So it's going to be 733 plus 427. So let's look at some strategies that we can use to solve this problem. The first one we're going to talk about is the break apart strategy. This is very similar to what we've done in uh, multiplication. We're going to break apart each number into the expanded form. So 733 gets broken up into 700 plus 30 plus 3 and then we're going to break apart 427 so we have 427 in expanded form is 400 plus 20 plus 7 let me just make that 4 a little bit better so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add each place value separately so we're going to do the hundreds over here we're going to do the tens right here. Then we're going to do the ones over here. So in this line, I'm going to take the 700 and the 400. So I'm going to do 700 plus 400. And that equals 1,100 or 1,100. So then my tens, I'm going to do right here my 20 and my 30. So 20 plus 30. Actually, let me switch that around. Let's start with 30 since we're starting with the 733 first. 30 plus 20 and that's going to equal 50. And then I'm going to take the ones place and I'm going to add them. So I've got my 3 plus 7 which equals 10. So now I've got to take each of these num each of these answers. 1,100, the 50, and the 10, and I've got to put them together. So let's make another column over here for that. And this one we're going to call total. So I've got 1,100, and I'm going to plus 50. And I like to do one at a time one number two numbers first instead of stacking all three for me it just makes it a little bit easier so I don't lose track of what I'm doing so I've got 1150 let me slide that over so the place value lines up okay and now I can go ahead and I can add the 10 so plus 10 let me draw my line in so now I've got 1,160. So my answer is 1,160. All right, let's try another strategy. This strategy is the number line. We've been working on this in class, and so we're just going to break apart one of the numbers into expanded form. So let's break this into um, we're going to start with, let's start with the 733, so 733, that's a bigger number, so there'll be less jumps. So if I break this 427 into expanded form, I've got 400 plus 20 plus 7. So these are my jumps. So first I'm going to do a jump of 400. 
So that's going to be 1,133. Then I'm going to do a jump of 20. So now I have 1,153. And then I'm going to do a jump of 7. So now I've got 1,160. And that's my answer. So let's go on and try our next strategy. This is number strings. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys learned this in third grade. We're going to add place value, but instead of breaking it all apart, we're going to just draw a string in between each number. So I've got my ones here, and that's uh, 7 and 3, so that's 10. Then I'm going to connect. Let's use a different color for the tens place. My tens place, so now this is 30 plus 20, so that's going to be 50. And now let's go purple for the last one, hundreds place. So I've got my 4, and I've got my 7, so that's going to be 1,100. And now I just put these numbers together. So let's see. 50 and 10 is 60. And then I can bring down my 1,100 plus that. I get 1,160. That's my final answer. All right, and the last strategy that we're going to go over is the U.S. algorithm. So when we're solving the U.S. algorithm, we have to keep in mind our place value because that is going to change when we have to regroup. So I've got 733 plus 427. I wrote them on top and notice I lined up the ones, I lined up the tens, and I lined up the hundreds column. So I'm going to start here. 3 plus 7 equals 10. So I write my 0 for my 10, then I have to carry my 1 over here to the tens place because it's not in the ones place anymore. So now I've got 1 plus 3 plus 2, but really it's really 10 plus 30 plus 20. So that would be 5, 6, so it's like 60, see there? I don't have to carry anything because it didn't go to 100. So now I need to look at the hundreds place, so 7 plus 4 is 11. 1,160 is your answer. All right, now it's your turn. You've got two problems to solve, and I want you to solve them two different ways. Pick two of the strategies that were on the video tonight and try them out. Good luck.